Subscribe to this YouTube channel and please enjoy watching this video, here we go. Anthony Joshua still had a job to do even if plans for his next fight evaporated before he made it out of his dressing room. The former two-time unified heavyweight titleist avoided the upset bug and dominated Sweden's Otto Wallen over five one-sided rounds. No knockdowns were scored in the Day of Reckoning pay-per-view main event, but England's Joshua had Wallen bloodied and badly hurt in round five, after which Wallen's corner called for a stoppage in between rounds Saturday evening at Kingdom Arena in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. My approach was victory by any means, Joshua told DAZN's Chris Mannix after his third win on the year. Every cell and soul needed to be on focus. I knew Otto Wallen wanted to do whatever it takes to be victorious. Preceding the main event, Deontay Wilder, March 1, 43, 42 KOs, was removed from the equation for a long-desired showdown versus Joshua after he suffered a lopsided unanimous decision defeat to New Zealand's Joseph Parker, 34-3, 23 KOs, in the evening's chief support. Wins by Joshua and Wilder were supposed to set up a March 9 super fight more than six years in the making. Watford's Joshua was comfortable behind the jab, which was enough to control the action versus Wallen, who is now based in New York City, who never seemed to find his offensive rhythm. The weapon set up straight right hands for the former heavyweight champ, to which Wallen never had a sound response. The jab continued to be on point for Joshua, who also effectively landed a straight right hand to the body in round three. Joshua brought his attack upstairs and managed to bloody Wallen's nose, along with a cut under the Swedish southpaw's right eye. Joshua continued to pick apart Wallen in round four. The right hand was thrown with great conviction, while Wallen's best moments were limited to arm punches. Wallen was forced into retreat mode almost immediately at the start of the fifth after taking a right hand to the body. Things would get much worse for him, as Joshua rocked him with a straight right hand and left hook to the chin. Joshua paused before he moved in to continue with his subtle but potent offensive attack. A straight right later landed, as did another left hook, which Wallen took, but appeared to be on borrowed time. Head trainer Joey Gamash saw enough and informed referee Steve Gray that his guy was done for the night. Wallen fell to 26-2, 14 KOs, which snapped a six-fight win streak. His lone other defeat came to England's Tyson Fury, whom he had cut early in their September 2019 affair en route to dropping a 12-round, unanimous decision. Joshua advanced to 27-3, 24 KOs, with his third consecutive victory, all in an active 2023 campaign. Despite the win, Joshua's immediate next step was unclear. Various reports indicated that his next fight would come versus Wilder on March 9, towards the end of Riyadh's season, which would have marked its fourth heavyweight headlined event during the period. The insistence from the suddenly red-hot former titleist was that it was business as usual regardless of what took place in the fight preceding his own. I wasn't even watching, Joshua noted of the Parker Wilder fight. Deontay, everything he said about me, I could rip him apart. But I'm gonna take the higher ground. All three Joshua wins on the year have come after back-to-back -back defeats to Alexander Yusik, 21-0, 14 KOs, who holds the WBA, IBF and WBO heavyweight titles. All the belts will be at stake in his February 17 undisputed championship versus Fury, who risks his lineal championship and WBC title. Joshua was once in that position to challenge Fury for all the marbles, but a series of out-of-ring rulings delayed that process. Joshua went on to lose his belts to Yusik in September 2021, and fell short in their rematch last August in Jeddah. The setbacks taught or at least reminded him, to take this sport one step at a time. This game is a treacherous business, noted Joshua. It's a slippery, climb. One win gets you up the ladder, and a loss, takes you all the way down. Every fight leads towards the final destination. I've got to continue to be victorious, and it just happens naturally. We keep going otherwise it's straight back down the ladder. I have to stay focused. I'm on a journey, and it's hard, but I've got to stay focused while I'm doing this and we'll see how far I can take this. Hearn predicts massive 2024 for Anthony Joshua sees Philip Hergovic as next foe. Eddie Hearn, promoter for former two-time heavyweight champion Anthony Joshua, believes the British star has fully rebuilt himself. 
At the start of 2023, Joshua was looking to bounce back after suffering back-to-back -back defeats at the hands of unified champion Alexander Yusik. In April, Joshua returned to the ring and picked up a 12-round unanimous decision over Jermaine Franklin. It was Joshua's first bout with trainer Derek James. Joshua then came back in August, with a one-punch knockout of late replacement Robert Hellenius. On Saturday night in Saudi Arabia, he closed out the year with a third win a one-sided beatdown of Otto Wallen. After busting up Wallen for five rounds, the Swede's corner waved off the fight. I believe this Anthony Joshua is the best heavyweight in the world. That was a punch-perfect performance tonight. A stunning performance. One that says he is back. With this mindset in this team, I think he is unbeatable. 2024 will be massive for him, Hearn told TNT Sports. Joshua had been slated to face longtime rival Deontay Wilder on a date in March in Saudi Arabia. However, Wilder suffered an upset decision loss at the hands of Joseph Parker, which served as the co-feature to Joshua's bout with Wallen. At the moment, the more likely scenario is to match Joshua against unbeaten Philip Hergovic for the vacant IBF heavyweight belt. Hergovic also saw action on Saturday in Saudi Arabia, with a one-round demolition of Mark Demori. In February, Yusik and WBC champion Tyson Fury will collide for the undisputed crown. There is a two-way rematch clause in the agreement, so a second fight is likely to happen. Because of the IBF's outstanding order for the Yusik Fury winner to make a mandatory defense against Hergovic, the belt will likely become vacant once their first bout concludes. And that opens the door for a title fight between Joshua and Hergovic. It was a tough decision between the championship and Wilder. We signed for Wilder, he lost tonight, that's okay, it happens in boxing. Maybe it is a blessing, because this guy is about championships. He wants to become a three-time heavyweight world champion. It will be Philip Hergovic against AJ for the world title, Hearn said. I am so happy to see him smiling and performing so well. He is a dangerous man when he is in that kind of mood. 2024 is going to be very interesting, every heavyweight should be on notice, he is back. Let us know what you think about the entire thing, in the comments section below. Additionally, stay tuned and subscribe to this YouTube channel for the latest news and updates from around the world. We sign out.